All right, so here's here's why there's two parts to this video. Um, there's two parts to this video because I can't watch that again. This is about Donald Trump pardoning his friends. Donald Trump, if somehow, some way, by some minute um, chance that you see this, it's seven thousand dollars to get my driver's license back, so that I can move on with my life, so that I can become the new creation that I'm trying to become, so that I can get a job that is better than nine dollars an hour, so that I can support my family, which I was doing the best I could. I was voluntarily given child support, um, and then I got nothing. Then they cut my hours, and now I got twenty hours. Look, I can't live on that. Okay, and I definitely can't pay my, um, I definitely can't pay my license. I can't pay them, 30, they went 3500 just to get started. So, I'm pleading with you, Mr. Trump. Help me, why don't you pardon my, my fines and costs from, nine, from 2001, okay? 18 years they're holding this against me. That's so unconstitutional that there's no words. You want to talk about constitutionality of anything? Well, we have the right, the guaranteed right to travel unrestricted on America's highways. And apparently that does not matter to the to PennDOT or the courts. Because this is about Act 122, which was stupid in the first place. Which genius, which one of you geniuses made that, man? Because all you did was damage us. You damaged the ones who are trying. Um, it makes no sense whatsoever. So, um, you know, I had hope when I called them, you know, when I went over there and then they called me to tell them about $7,000 for, for DUI where I was not drunk. I just not giving you my blood. I'm not giving you my personal medical information to satisfy your desire for a prosecution, because that's what this is all about: prosecution. Your the Constitution uh, does not apply here in Berks County. It does not apply to um, scumbags. You know, you gotta call an apple an apple, and apparently. It means nothing to anyone here, the judges, um, the district attorney, because if you look at my other videos, you will see a man who is contacting my daughter um, regularly, and now he's causing her all kind of pain and stress because of the videos I made, and that is reflecting directly back on me because now my Family won't talk to me again, and my daughter's done with me. Um, so, they won't arrest this man. He's on ARD. He's a drug dealer. He's manufacturing narcotics in his home. He, um, His mother lives there, his stepfather, his brother, his sister, and I don't know, if they, I think they must have just had a baby because I got some baby pictures. Uh, on my email from m my daughter's, it was supposed to be um, somebody up in uh, somewhere, but that, it's just not true. The truth is, um, Ricardo is again active in her life, and I have the video to prove it. It's on my website. It's on the YouTube channel here. Get high and preach. You can look up Ricardo How is a pedophile. You can look up um, whatever you like. But it's in there. So they won't arrest this man. He violated his ARD because he's a dope. He uses, he's a, he's a drug addict like I am, but he's an active user. I don't use um, anything that is not prescribed to me. I'm not using it. Now, if anybody wants to help get this maggot off of the ground, at least I can become a fly. You know, it's better than being a maggot. Then, then you can more than gladly pay off the 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 license, the the Act One Twenty Two. Because other than that, I'm stuck. I'm literally stuck in the Vaseline. 
And there's nothing I can do about it. But Ricardo Howe, apparently, that mother, you know what? He is the Teflon Don of Strauss Town. I'm not exaggerating. He stole from me. He threatened to kill me on email. He called my daughter on Facebook. I reported that. Um, I was over there a couple times. That's going nowhere. You know, the police get called. And personally, I'm a nonviolent person. I believe in men and Jacob's way of uh, life. Um, however, never mind. That's for another video. But this man can walk around, do whatever he wants. He violated his, his ARD. He had two convictions prior to the ARD. He, has, he got ARD for a felony and two misdemeanors. Then after the ARD, he was convicted for drug-related crimes. He was still on ARD and then um, violated it by refusing to give the, the urine because, as you can see in the video, he was on heroin. Okay, he was using heroin. There's a zero tolerance policy, so I called down there. Is there a warrant? No. Why? Will someone please tell me why? But for refusing to give my blood, practicing my constitutional right, my tailpipe was dragging. That's what happened. My tailpipe was dragging. So um, I practiced my constitutional right to refuse to allow them to take my blood. And I'm paying for it dearly. I can't get my license back. I'll never have it back unless someone helps me or they drop these fines. But quite frankly, that's it. Toast. There ain't nothing I can do about it. I'm just going to have to accept that I'm a bus taking, shoe soul wearing out, non job having, piece of garbage. Because that's what you're telling me, the exact words. It didn't come out of my mouth, it came out of your mouth. Okay? So, no, I can't give you 3500 Where am I going to get that? You want me to sell? I'll sell you my Logitech trash speaker system. You can buy my TV. Um, you know what's crazy? Uh, the rain came down my roof and destroyed some stuff. And, you know, my insurance, I pay the insurance company to protect me from that. And they won't pay it. Again, another insurance company refusing to pay um, but I have to have the insurance because of, in case of a fire or, um, apparently it doesn't matter unless the, the, the roof is ripped off by a storm. Um, obviously the storm came through and did some damage to the roof and that's why it's leaking. So, um. tired and sick of this. I'm sick of it, man. It's enough, isn't it? Isn't it enough enough? I work at a job that hates me, and I hate it back in turn. The, my job hates me, man. The one manager there won't even look at me or talk to me, or um, I got, I go there, I have that's another video. But I have cut back on man hours big time. It does not matter. Not at all. Nope. Because I got a average. Um, anyway, he, he gave me a bunch of nonsense that I know is not true. <laughs> I know how I'm doing my job. I'm doing it to the best of my ability. And if, if that's the rating I'm going to get, well, obviously I'm not going to get anything better. So... And um, you, the nonsense you just told me about my hours and all that, I was, you know, it, it's, it's just a nightmare. So, I'm never going to get my license back, Mr. Trump. Would you mind pardoning my fines and costs? Because it's nothing but a signature for you and a little bit of ink. Come think of it, I'd, I'd appreciate the pen also, if you can say, I can sell that on eBay. Anyway, I'd appreciate it, man. Thank you.